Hey everybody, we've got three very simple flip projects today and let's get started. The first one I picked up this adorable little Indiana for $1.99 at Goodwill. It has been cut out of what looks like barn wood. It already has the hanging hardware on the back. And in case you didn't know that not only cardinals are the bird typically used in Christmas and winter decor, it is also the Indiana State Bird. So it was the most appropriate thing for this adorable little wood cutout. I originally was just going to pull it all off and use an IOD transfer from last year's uh, holiday release with some cardinals but then it had this hand forged nail in there that was holding the cardinal and so I went through my stash and decided you know what we are actually going to put a bird right back on this and I found this um, and I believe it's from the dollar store it might have been from Walmart um, but we are going to put a cardinal back on here and i have used one of them for something else uh last year with that iod release that i mentioned had some cardinals so i actually had something that i used it on you can see me struggling to get the poor thing off of here pulled its little leg out all right but i used one in a christmas tree that was in a vessel that had um the iod cardinal transfer anyway so I'm going to wrap that wire back around that nail the way the one prior had and it had definitely been worse for wear and it was very sad so I am happy to be replacing it and sorry that I have to throw the old one away so I just keep wrapping it around there wrapping it around the feet to make sure that they stay in and then while I do love that nail I need something to hide those little plastic orange feet and that wire that I've wrapped around there so I have these little pieces um, I actually got them on Amazon it was a box of like 12 tiny little pieces of greenery with pine cones and little berries and it has a wire there on the stem and I'm just bending it around and then I am going to fold it up between the legs of the bird and wrap it around that nail but you can see I just think it gave the perfect small little amount of greenery there to kind of hide that wire and gave it the ump that it needed just refreshing it like I said these are very simple makeovers but I absolutely love the way it came out I obviously I am a Hoosier I am from Indiana and I love to collect things that are shaped like Indiana you can see my little ornament there from Mama Bear Blue thank you Amy that has been hanging there uh, for the last couple years now but isn't it just adorable I love this rustic look our second project is just as easy as our first was I picked up this um, enamel pot at an auction with a bunch of other enamel things. I think this was probably a chamber pot, uh, not to be confused with a stock pot or soup pot. Um, and I collect, well, no, that's my husband would laugh there because I don't mean to collect it, but I hoard, I hold on to styrofoam because a lot of times this is just as easy or even better than the foam blocks that you can pick up even at the dollar store so to save money when I have some good chunks like this I go ahead and save them and I use them in place of the floral blocks so I'm just kind of seeing what I can do to poke that down in there um, have some pieces over on the side that are from uh, something else so it's a little bit softer the bendable if you will see I can just kind of poke that down in there but I am going to stick all this down in there because it is going to hold this awesome it is plastic so it's actually can be used indoors and outdoors but it is so real looking I absolutely love it so I'm gonna try to poke that down in there I'm trying to get the camera where you can actually see me because I know you can't see much of the pot there um, because or my tree because it's so tall but we're gonna make a Christmas tree in this pot out of this limb and it is yeah you can see that is some very strong <laughs> you can see going what am I gonna do so I just grab a screwdriver and I stick that down in there and kind of create a little bit of a pilot hole 
and then it is a lot easier I can pick up that uh, tree stem there and poke it right down in it so isn't that just I absolutely love this greenery it is definitely my favorite I'm gonna fluff up those branches and get them all in there and then to hide my wonderful styrofoam I have this drop cloth it has been washed and um, it's not bleached but I just washed it and kind of got it very soft and frayed and I'm just gonna rip some pieces here and I'm choosing rather than just using a big piece and covering it I'm choosing to use different strips and that is so that I can kind of work with it and maneuver a little bit better and have a bunch of those you can see those frayed edges it just kind of adds to that rustic old look so I'm gonna cut I think I do four strips um, maybe three but I just kind of start it and then rip and it just it tears really easily and then it gives me that frayed edge so I poke the edge that was finished that had the hem on there rather than cut it off I just poked it down inside where the only thing you can see sticking up are those frayed edges and again I, I either use three or four pieces there um, and I just kind of poke them around and to hold it I poke them in the different holes in the styrofoam where there's different pieces of it and sorry there's the close-up of the tree but I just love again that rustic look where things just kind of um, look very natural but here it is all finished and I just think it looks just like a little Christmas tree wonderful little evergreen there in that pot All right, so our third project is probably the easiest of them all. I picked up this adorable Santa mug. It is not old. I got it at Goodwill for $1.99, but I thought it was just perfect. I love that one color, but it did have a couple chips in the back. And while that does not make it not usable, they are on the outside. You could still have your hot cocoa out of this adorable teal mug. I thought it also made it a great candidate um, for decor, and we're going to stick a bottle brush tree in there. I picked this up for 99 cents, and I put new batteries in it, and it still doesn't work. I'd say the fairy light wire is probably broken somewhere in there. Um, so we're just going to borrow about two-thirds of it there um, and do something different and just forget that it ever had lights on it so if you have been following me then you know that I was in need for a carpal tunnel repair I had surgery in July it didn't fix it so I just recently had surgery again I am only a few days post-op here but wanted to get this video finished so I am putting my non-dominant hand to the test and trying to work with my left hand mostly. Um, so I just, I used my wire cutters there and kind of cut the wire um, to help make it easier to pull off and um, took all the fairy lights away so that it was just a simple white, it's a very crisp white bottle brush tree. Very firm and um, I don't know strong I, I don't know what word I'm looking for there but um, because of that because it's very stiff it makes it a perfect tree to put in here without needing anything in there so no styrofoam no foam um, I'm just trying to determine how tall I want it to be because first of all the wood base on the bottom is too big to put in the top so I'm gonna definitely have to take it off of there either way but then also it's just too tall so I'm gonna have to take about you know a quarter or a third of it off of there to stick down in here and because it is so um, strong there you can see I don't need anything else in it I'm losing a lot of glitter everywhere but I think that this is absolutely perfect very simple just has that adorable look to add to my other items so I have it here on a centerpiece with other things I have poked in uh, bottle brush trees greenery anything you guys if you don't already subscribe to my channel I would love it if you would and click that notification bell thanks for watching